Hello everyone, I am Adiola and you're welcome back to my channel and the fashion school. Without wasting much of our time, we'll be going into the bag making section as you all know we're into fashion designs and bag making. Today I'll be going into the bag making section and I'll be making this beautiful traveling bag. It only has two main body which is the front body and the back body. And then it has the zip side as well. It has one side which carries the zip side and the bottom stand, bottom side. You can see I fixed bottom stand to it. Five I fixed five pieces of button stand. I attached my logo as well. If you are interested in the class, so you can message me on WhatsApp. Without wasting much of our time, let's get started into the drafting and then stitching part of it. So I'll be making use of my lining, I'll be making use of my piping. Can you see it's actually look like a webbing, like a belt, but it is not this one is used for piping. I'll be making use of my um zip clothes and then my zip head. I'll be making use of my oats as well. And then I think that is all for now. So let's get started. I didn't have enough time when I was making this video. So there wasn't enough time for me to first go into the drafting section before coming back into the sewing section if you are very familiar with my videos you will definitely know before coming into the sewing section we have to pass through the drafting section but here is a combined video of it yeah here is a combined video of it so for the width so for the width of making use of 17 three quarter for the width but at first don't forget i didn't have an actual measurement so the person just sent me a sample and said okay this is what i actually want but just make it more bigger than this but the length shouldn't be as tall as this do you understand so I have, that means i have to create my home measurement so in creating my measurements at first i measure i make use of length of 12 inches which is for the um, which, which is for the height so i make use of length of 12 inches and then for the width i think at first i make use of was it not 21 or 22 inches at first yeah, I make it of 21 or 22 inches as well. But as time goes on, I feel this is going to be kind of too big. Do you understand? And the person has already warned me. I don't want a team bag. <laughs> so I have to reduce the measurement. It was later reduced to 17 3 quarter. Do you understand? So just follow this video closely. You understand what I'm saying? So don't forget I said I later reduced the width measurement to 17 3 quarter. So that is what I'm doing right now. So now I have my final measurement to be 17 3 quarter. Why my length to be 12 inches. So that's the final measurement I later make use of. So I'm checking how high it will be. So but I, 12 inches is okay. Yeah, 12 inches is okay. I don't need to reduce that. And then on all the edges, I'll be giving it a round curve. Just little curve. Do you understand? Like just little curve on all the edges. Don't let it to be too much. Just little curve on all the edges. And then after doing that, I'll be using that to trim off the other part of it do you understand so i'll be repeating the same process for the other side and then every other side so now i'm done trimming all the edges I'll be making use of my piping, yes, I'll be making it just to give it a real structure edge. So I'll be using the front body to cut to cut out the second body, which is the back body. So don't forget I'll be needing two of these. So now the next thing is for me to determine my undo, the length of my undo. Don't forget I have 12 inches of 
length do you understand so since i'll be fixing it from one end to the another so that means 12 plus 12 that's 24 in um, 12 plus 12 that's 24 inches and then for the length of the handle itself i'm making use of 15 inches do you understand it all depends on, on how high you want it to be you can decide to be 16 17 18 19 20 anything do you understand you can decide to make it 12 inches as well it depends on how high you want it to be but as for me i'll be making use of the handle itself to be 15 inches do you understand and then fixing it to the side don't forget it's 12 and 12 plus 12 that's 24 so 24 plus 15 inches that's 39 inches of length do you understand so now in cutting my undo i'll be cutting um, 39 and a half inches of length and then for the width i'll be making use of one and a half inches do you understand so i don't want it to be too wide or something because i'll still be putting my piping and piping is just half an inch so don't forget 39 inches of length and then width of one and a half inches so i'll be needing two pieces of it 39 inches of length and then one and a half inches 39 inches and one and a half inches of width and i'll be needing some pieces of it then i'm done cutting the undo So the next thing is for us to start work immediately because I'll be fixing my undo first. So in fixing my undo, don't forget I said, for instance, now I'll be leaving 12 inches on one side, leaving 12 inches at the other side, that's making 24 inches. So it is only the undo part, which is 15 inches that I'm going to sew. Do you understand that? So firstly, I'll be leaving 12 inches, I'll sew 15 inches and I'll be leaving 12 inches at the damn part also do you understand clearly so try to watch this closely so that you can understand very very well so let's get started by fixing the handle to the main body So in fixing the handle to the main body from the from each side I'll be measuring three and a half inches. So that is where my that is where my handle will start. So three and a half inches from both sides. And then from the upper part I measured two inches, but on the long run I later reduced it to one and a half inches. Do you understand? So three and a half inches on both sides and then one and a half inches from the upper part. So don't forget the wideness of my undo is one and a half inches. Do you understand? So on that three and a half inches that I mark from the side and one inch one and a half inches from the upper part. So I'll be creating a hole. Should I call it a hole? Yeah. So I'll be creating a hole on both sides. But the width of the hole won't exceed one and a half inches. I hope I'm communicating. Please just try to watch it closely. Even though you didn't understand this part, please drop it in the comment section. I will definitely reply. The width of this undo is one and a half inches. Do you understand? So don't forget when fixing it, I said I will measure three and a half inches from each side, on both sides. So now it is that three and a half inches. Starting from that three and a half inches, that is where I will be creating one O. Do you understand? And then after creating one O on that side, I'll measure one and a half inches. So that is the wideness that will be in between the O. So I'll be creating the other O at the one and a half inches. So that's what I'm trying to do now. So I cut little piece 
the length of the lipids is one inch. Do you understand? Why for the width? I think wasn't it probably four or five and a half inches. You can replace, you can increase it to six inch. I would prefer you use six inches so that you have enough allowance um on the inside after sewing do you understand i think i used it was not four or four and a half inches and then in the long run what i have inside was just little allowance little sewing allowance but you can increase just to six and seven so that you can have even excess on the inside so try to trace the o very well and then i'll insert the little pieces to it the little piece to it So when fixing this fourth side, I didn't know my camera stopped. My camera stopped because of out of um, it was actually out of storage. Do you understand? So the fixing of this first undo, I was not, I was, I wasn't able to get the full video. So I have to cut, I have to trim that part off. But don't worry, don't, don't panic. This when fixing the second undo, I the video, I recorded the video, I recorded every bit of the tutorial. Do you understand? So you understand what I'm trying to say? You know when this is the first one I'm trying to fix, but I, would, I was unable to get the tutorial part of it because of out of storage. I thought it was actually recording, but on the long run, the file was missing. So I did the second one so you understand more when fixing the second undo. So now let's fix the second undo so that you can understand very well. It is very easy to fix. So now I said I measured three and a half inches on both sides. That's where that's where the starting point of my fixing of my undo will start do you understand so three and a half inches on both side so three and a half inches you shock that three and so it is on that three and a half inches that i'm going to make my first o yes on this three and a half inches then from the upper part is going to be one and a half inches so i'll make my o on that three and a half inches and then after making my hole on that three and a half inches the distance between the hole is just going to be one and a half inches which is the wideness of the undo so just follow closely so you need another piece of material also So now I'll fix. So don't forget three and a half inches. So the wideness is just one and a half inches. So 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 that will be the D, that will be the wideness between the two O's. Do you understand that? Make sure your O's doesn't exceed the one inch of length of the small piece that you be attaching to it. Can you see the O? So the first thing is to fix one part of it. So I'll be inserting the small piece. And I'll be sewing it on the inside. Do you understand? It won't be the outside. So I'll be sewing it on the inside. I'll just sew through that one inch.
can you see so i'll be repeating the same process for the other side so this side this actual part can be a little bit stressful but you just have to pull through so i'll be sewing it inside also So now I'm done fixing both sides. Can you see? So it is as simple as that. So can you see we still add some piece, some pieces inside. So on both sides I'll be running a stitch like one inch stitch. So the stitch is going to be now in our horizontal line. So just follow closely like an like an inch, one inch. So I'm done with that. So the next thing is for me to now fix in my undo. So I'll be taking the sewing from the down part to the upper part and I'll be repeating the same process for the other side too. So that's all in fixing the end. Can you see how lovely it is? So I'll be inserting my holes when I'm done with the whole bag. So the next thing now is for me to do my piping. So in fixing my piping, don't forget I'll be cutting a little, I'll be needing a little piece of material to use at the closing points for the starting and ending of the piping. So you have to notch the middle. Then that is the middle where I notch, that is where my piping will start and end. So now I'm done fixing my piping. I did that off the camera so this video won't be too long. So I'm sure you know how to do your piping. Can you see how neat it is? So I'll be repeating the same process for both the handle and the piping for the other side of material. So now I'm done fixing both the undo, fixing both the undo and the piping to both sides, both front body and the back body. So the next thing is for me to fix my lining. So I'll be fixing my, I'll be cutting three pieces of lining, one for one and then the other two will be for one, which means the other two I'll be making use one, I'll be making use of one for the inner lining and then i'll be placing it on the main lining so just watch closely so this is one this is the second one so this second one i'll be trimming don't forget i cut the same measurement for both but i'll be trimming off three inches because that will serve as my inner lining inner pocket 
so that will serve as my inner pocket i'll be trimming off three inches and then after trimming it off i also have an inch on the upper side on the upper parts which is where i cut off so i also have an inch so now i'll be sewing just of an inch so now i'm done so now i'm done sewing it so the next thing is for me to place this inner pocket on the main lining and i'll be running the stitch from one end to the another end so i'll be place i'll place it on the main lining and i'll be running the stitch from one end to another end just make sure it is placed on each other very well so this two lining has become one lining so i'll be fixing that one main body and i'll be fixing the other so don't forget i said it's sour as in inner pocket so i'll be fixing one to main body and to the front body and i'll be fixing the other side to the back body or whichever body i prefer so i'll just so it to that so i'll be putting the wrong side on the wrong side do you understand so the wrong side on the wrong side and i will sew all around also so can you see how nice it is can you see the inner pocket so i'll be repeating the same process for the other side So now I'm done fixing the lining to both sides. So the next thing now is for me to fix my side, which carry the zip side and the bottom side. So in fixing that, I'll be measuring what I have left. Do you understand? Like I'll be measuring the total measurement, the all round measurement. So what I have here, what I have left is 56 inches. Like when when I measured everything, all round the measurement. So I have 56 inches. So just follow me closely. So what I have is 56 inches. So what I have is 56 inches. So in cutting the zip side and then in cutting the bottom side. So that means firstly that 56 inches, I'll be splitting it into two. Do you understand? So 56 divided by two, that's 28 inches. That means 28 inches. We the zip side we carry the 28 inches why the down part which also serve as the bottom part we carry 28 inches and then for the width of the zip side i want something i don't want something too wide but at least i want something three and a half inches do you understand so that means i'll be cutting three and a half inches by 28 inches of length and then that 28 inches i have to add one inch sewing allowance to it so that make that makes it 29 inches do you understand and then the downside also that's 29 inches also but the downside i'll be cutting the downside after i have joined both zip side together so after joining both sides zip side together what i have left do you understand so that will determine the length that will determine the width sorry of the down part which serve as the bottom part so now the first thing i need to cut now is the zip side do you understand so the zip side i want three inches three and a half inches of width so three and a half inches of width with another three and a half inches so that means we'll be having seven inches or probably seven and a half or seven three quarter or something when i'm done with it do you understand but at first i'll be cutting three and a half inches by 29 inches now i have three and a half inches of width by 29 inches of length so the next thing is for me to fix my zip cloth and then fix my zip side is to fix my zip cloth and my zip head so don't forget to top stitch i always love to double aim um, to top stitch twice so it makes the bag more neat so i'll be repeating the same process for the other side too so now i'm done so what I have there, the total, the outcome of the measurements that I have for the width now is, let me check, is 7 inches. 
ए हैं सो आई हैव सेवन इंचीज जी रास्ता कहीं से इस कर ली सो ना आई हैव सेवन इंचीज बाय ट्वेंटी ना इंचीज सो दैट मींस इन कटिंग द डाउन साइड ऑफ विच विच कारी द बॉटम साइड आई बी कटिंग ट्वेंटी ना इंचीज ऑफ लेंस डोंट फॉरगेट वाज एक्चुअली ट्वेंटी एट बिफोर आई डी वन इंचीज ऑफ स्विंग एंड आवाज सो ट्वेंटी ना इंचीज ऑफ लेंस एंड देन � so after doing that, so this is my seven inches of width, seven inches of width, and then twenty nine inches of length. So I'll be joining it to I'll be joining one side to one side and the the other side to the other side to make it just one single side. Now I've joined it. So when measuring now, all I have left, all I have here, must be equal to fifty six inches. Do you understand? So all I have left now is, if you can see closely, I have with my fifty six inches. So I have my fifty six inches. So what I need to do now is to fix it to the is to fix it to one. Part of the body, do you understand? It might be the front, it might be the uh, back. Just fix it. To you have to notch the middle, then start from the middle and fix it all round. So I'll be doing that off camera. So now I'm done fixing one side of it. Can you see? So what I need to do now is after fixing one side to the, uh, one side of it, I pipe it all round. Do you understand? So can you see? I use that belt. For my piping so i pipe it all around so the next thing is to repeat the same process for the other side so i'll be attaching my logo yeah i have my logo i have my signature that will be attaching to it so after attaching that to it and then i'll join the side to the left body to the, to the remaining body so I'm done fixing that and then after doing that also I pipe it all around. Do you understand? So I piped it all around. So you can you see how neat the bag is? The inside is neat while the outside is also neat. So always make sure you have a good sewing and then you sew nicely. Yeah, you sew nicely. And one thing you need to consider is a straight sewing. So you have to give yourself a straight sewing. That makes it a perfect sewing. And the next thing is for me to turn it outside. So turn out the edges carefully. Turn it outside. We are gradually, we are gradually getting the... So turn it outside. And then after turning it outside, the last thing I need to fix is my bottom stand. So can you see... Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm here to fix the... Um, what's it called? I'm just to fix the holes, so I'll be fixing the holes to it. So don't forget, this is 15 inches of length, so it is that same 15 inches of length that I'll be fixing to the undo. Or more, this is this is one kind of battle <laughs> because I have to battle with this thing. It involves strength, like strength. Oh my, it wasn't easy, but just have to pull through. It wasn't easy because the os is kind of very very hard, so, and you have to make it pass through the undo. So I'm through with one, and I'll be repeating the same process for the other undo. So now I'm done fixing holes to both sides. Can you see how nice the bag is? Uh-huh. I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this. I make use of two face material. Yeah, double face material. That is why it's giving this very thick shape and nice shape. So you can you see and then I'll be attaching bottom stand to it. I'll be attaching five bottom stands to it. Two on both sides and one at the middle. So can you see the inside is actually lovely please 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 we know you this is the first time of coming to my channel please click on the subscribe button and if you've been coming uh, but you've not yet subscribed please do yourself a favor and do me a favor by clicking on the subscribe button and every video you watch please try to like and then if you are on my returning 
And if you're my returning subscriber, I love you so much. Thank you so much. Please subscribe because I promise you, and interesting videos are still coming. Like very, very interesting videos are still coming. More and bags are still more and bags to real too are still coming. And if you know you're interested in making this kind of logo at a token, please DM me on WhatsApp. It is a paid tutorial. A paid tutorial so you can chat me up awesome so till then i say thank you so much for your time thanks so much for your patience bye